Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Mikey and welcome to Mikey Really Reads. I hope everybody is good, everybody is safe and everybody has been reading books. If you are or if you have been reading great books, drop it down in the comments and I'll be sure to add it to my ever, ever growing TBR. Today's video is going to be my February and March reading wrap up. I had a lot of three stars unfortunately, like a lot, a lot of three stars. So that sucks, but there's some gems here. So the first book I read is The Summer We Fell by Elizabeth O'Rourke. Um, this is a forbidden romance. It's a boyfriend, the best friend. Taboo. Love it. I love this romance. It is so angst. So we have this girl. She moves into a student's house or whatever, and she starts dating their son. And so the relationship is kind of very complicated. Like I wouldn't call them like abusive, but they take advantage of her because she has nowhere to go, she has nothing to do. You know, she's kind of relying on them for like a safe place, food, all of that stuff. So they kind of take it a bit far with her, especially the dad. It is kind of like a love triangle. I love this romance. She falls in love with Luke, who is her boyfriend's best friend. He comes during the summer to surf and it is just amazing like he sees her he wants her to be the best version of herself and like literally one thing Luke is gonna do is whoop someone's ass like the way he just like is so protective over her it's it's low-key toxic but I mean who doesn't love that <laughs> so yeah and then the next book that I read is Kane by Talina Tillman this is my first book by this author. I don't think she's for me. This book is about a long distance relationship. I felt like it should have been longer. Like the topics that she was talking about, it can't be like this book, I think was literally 117 pages. Like the topic she was talking about was, yeah, it was, they were big topics. And I just felt like the book needed to be longer, at least 300 pages, but, I see where she was going at. I see why people like her. I gave this book three stars. I wouldn't have given it 2.5, but you know, I was being nice that day, so I'm not going to change my rating. Then I read From the Embers by Ellie Martinez, right? Yeah. I've been wanting to read this. I'm lying. I don't want to read this book, but it's just been on my TBR list for so long, and I was just like, okay, you know, it's time, whatever. I'll just do it now. Who cares? And I give it three stars. It is, I wouldn't say it's interesting. I feel like it was a great story. I just don't think, I feel like if it was in someone else's hands, like if a different author was writing it, it would have been a five star for me. Like let's say Kennedy Ryan was writing this book five stars, maybe even uh katharina mora if she wrote the story i think would have been a five star even the time god would i feel like we not that we should have delved more into the dark side of it but it was it was beautiful i will say that so the female character her husband is best friends with the hero and the female character in the story her best friend is married to the guy's best friend the hero's best friend so it's all like a group, a lot of group dates and stuff. So one day they have one of the group dates, it's game night, and then the house blows up and he saves one person. And the only person he saves is a female character and that is his best friend's wife instead of his wife. He thought it was his wife, it wasn't. And yeah, and that's how it goes. It is a beautiful story. I just feel like, I don't know, maybe it's because she's a new author to me, maybe this is how she writes but i just it was okay it was just an okay book but i feel like if it was in a different author's hands or if a different author was writing this it would have been so much better no offense literally no offense then i read he's a curvy rejected mate this is the fourth book in the rejected mate series i think by kt wells i liked this story this has a curvy heroine and he is the alpha of the pack she is very mistreated in the pack like she's called lots of ugly names because she's on the curvier side and he doesn't say much about it like but yeah they have this like physical thing going on it's like a fling 
but nobody knows about it. It's just him, and they've been doing it for a long time. And he doesn't even talk to her, which is very strange. I feel it was an okay book. I feel like he was very emotionally obtuse, but from the beginning to the end of the book, he did have some growth. He was really trying to be there for her and be emotionally available and just really, really try. So I really commend him for doing that. He gave up a lot to be with her. She did as well. I think I think a 3.5 star would have been better, but it was definitely not a four star read. It was a good book. Um, she was so hurt, so damaged, and he really did help her. He did make her feel better about stuff. So yeah, we commend him for that. And then uh, that first uh, DNF, is it the first or the second DNF of this year? Not quite sure, but final offer. I have this book at home and I'm just like so annoyed that I actually have this book because this is literally the worst book ever. Like what the hell? Like what the heck? What's going on? Like, ooh, like, ick. Like, how do you want me to believe that they're going to fall in love and he's going to be a healthy person? Yes, I will say the book is a bit chunky. It's like a big book. I just, I feel like with the story, because this is a second chance romance, a small time romance, he goes to her, his house, like his beach house or whatever, to say, like, he needs to sell the house or whatever so they have to have this agreement what of his inheritance blah 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 nobody really cares about that and he is an alcoholic and i just feel like when the story began i feel like he was supposed to have dealt with his demons yes i feel like he didn't have a lot of support from his parents even like the the love interest like the heroine in the story she was so rude and so mean to him and I'm like, how the hell do you expect me to believe that she's in love with him, genuinely in love with him? Yes, she's tired of him, or blah, 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 blah. Like, some of the things people are saying to him was, like, genuinely so beyond low blows. Like, it's like a soul punch, honestly. And, but he wasn't trying as well, so I get it. But also, like, you know, that is, like, that is brutal. And I just, I didn't feel like, he would have been redeeming enough or he would have such a redemption where i would be like okay he's healed he's blah 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 because there's also a child involved and i'm just like it's just he just keeps playing the same game i don't blame him but it's like it's a second chance romance he should be kind of different he should be trying to win her back by now he should be or he should have dealt with his demons but he didn't and he hadn't and he was still doing the same thing he was doing 10 years ago and i'm just like this isn't it this isn't what i want like no this isn't it i I'm just like maybe they were gonna split up and like meet again after two years but still would have felt like too much because literally he's been an alcoholic and he's been in rehab for like 10 years straight and you think he's gonna be fine after a little swim to the beach no i don't believe that and i'm glad i didn't it because what the hell with that Oh, the next book that I read is Wounded by Cecilia Wilder. So I read this book, I think, in 2014. I think I was 15 or 16. Was I in grade 7 or grade 8? Somewhere there. I love this book so much because it is a military romance. He's in the army. He's in Afghanistan right now. And he meets this girl. Well, they are in a shootout and she saves him. She puts him in her house. She is a prostitute. And literally, like, their story is so beautiful. They fall in love. It's just, they don't even speak the same language. You know, you really felt like you understood them. You understood everything. And you just wanted them to be so happy at the end of it. It was such a beautiful story. It is so touching, so heartwarming. I really, really love this story. I give it 4.5 stars, I think. I love this book. I absolutely love this book. I will never forget this book. The next book that I read is The Inadequate Air by Daniel L. Jensen. I absolutely love this couple. I love this couple. Oh my goodness, I love this couple. They are just fire. They are just so not meant to be together. They have so many odds against them, but they just love each other and they want to change. The things that he was willing to do to make sure she was safe was incredible. Literally, think of anything that could ever go wrong while you're trying to save someone. 
that went wrong for him and it was so beautiful the way she wrote the story it is truly amazing it is truly going to be one of my favorite fantasy romances for this year i absolutely love the story i'm on the last book i think for this couple we're going to get another couple of the fifth book fifth book hasn't been it's not out yet so that's kind of good kind of not good you know what i mean but i really did love this book i gave it five stars it is so so amazing i loved this book so much then i read led by gray huffington i gave this book four stars it is a black romance it is honestly so beautiful halo is agoraphobic she doesn't like to go outside she's afraid of being outside and led is just a normal man trying to make name for himself and it is a secret baby kind of a little bit i mean he knows that it's his baby in like the fourth chapter or something so it is so amazing it's so nice i will say luca still stands undefeated i really want there to be a book that beats luca i just don't think there will be one you get to see everyone from the eisenberg um series it is so heartwarming so Ledge and Law are twin brothers. They are sons of Liam. And it is truly amazing. I love this book so much. Four stars. And Grey Huffington, she still never disappoints. Then I am still currently reading Psychos by Sheridan Anne. It is a dark romance. I think she falls in love with like three brothers or something. She gets kidnapped by them. It's kind of a Lippy Douglas series. What is it? The Devil's Night series. Yes, kind of like that. It kind of reads like that. It has sort of like the same vibe so i'm really intrigued to see where it goes it's a long long book i think it's like 18 hours or like 20 hours of reading like the older book is like 20 or 18 hours so yeah it's going to be long um i will tell you the rest of my feelings for that book so having completed i'm almost done but like i said i'm not reading for now i'm enjoying all the time i have with my partner and yeah that is all i have for this video Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.